Okay, so this is part two of the avatars. Um, and this is where we can start to make it actually look like you. We're going to add um, some hair and some color. So let's get started and pick up where we left off. So I'm going to add some hair. And this is where knowing how to use the shape builder or the pathfinder, whichever one you like to use better, um, this is where it comes into play. Because I can't show you in one video how to do everyone's hair. I'm going to show you how I would do mine, and then hopefully um, that will give you some ideas of how to make yours. So for mine, I'm just going to use um, a rectangle. Um, well, let me get the rectangle tool. Let me unselect these. Sorry about that. Okay. Rectangle tool. I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to give myself, typically have pretty, pretty short hair. So this is what I'm going to start with. Now, um, I want to round these corners like we did for the neck. So I'm going to get my selection tool. I'm going to click on the widget and I'm going to drag it down so it has like a kind of follows the curve of my head. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Click and drag it down. To the same spot. Okay, so there's still there's um, a lot more I could do, but I just want to keep it um, pretty basic for um, starting out. So I need to get rid of this little line, this little overlap. Um, I'm going to hold the shift key and I'm going to select, I need to select the hair and the face to get rid of that one. And get the shape builder tool hold the alt key so I didn't quite get it selected so I need to come here and select this one shape builder alt key that's not what I meant to do <laughs> undo that sorry alt key I want to remove this line Oops. So, let's see. Oh, there we go. That's the only one I wanted to remove. All right. So now um, I'm gonna put like the like part in my hair, and I'm gonna do that. If you go behind the line segment tool, there's the arc tool, um, and it's just going to allow you to draw an arc. So exactly what it sounds like. So I'm going to go from here to here. Maybe I'll go down a little bit. I don't even know if that's the right side that I parted on. <laughs> I'll go from here to here. All right. So now I need to get rid of these lines inside of here that I don't need. Selection tool. So I'll start over here. I have this selected and I need this selected. And I'm going to get my shape builder, hold the alt key, remove it. Okay, so this time I need this selected. This selected. Shape builder tool. Alt, remove the line. Okay, so now, now we're ready for um, adding color. So getting, putting your, so the hair is one of the most important things to make it look like you. Um, and there's lots of different ways. Um, and I can brainstorm with you um, the different ways and we can experiment um, if you, you know, for curly hair, you would do like a series of circles um, 
Also, if you have glasses, you could do, um, you know, you could put glasses on with rectangles and curve the edges um, and give yourself just a little, like one of these guys in the middle. Um, so lots of possibilities. But for right now, I'm going to show you how to um, color this in because getting your skin tone also um, gives it um, more character like you too. So um, behind the Shape Builder tool, if you right click, you're going to uh, click on the Live Paint Bucket tool. And you're just going to um, okay. let me step back. <laughs> I need to make a selection over. Um, Make sure everything is selected is what I need to do. I forgot about that um, part of it. So I'm just going to click over all of my lines and shapes. Now I can go get the live paint bucket tool and I'm just going to click so I can see I missed a spot. Come back over, hold the shift key, live paint bucket, so everything should be. Red. And it's another spot. <laughs> I'm making these mistakes so you don't. <laughs> okay. Everything should be red. We got it. Okay, just click. All you have to do is click to make it um, the live paint bucket group. Now we don't we want to um, um, our fill. Now is where you can pick your colors. So um, you want to double click um, my skin tone. So um, in the peaches and browns, where we're all going to be working, is going to be down by the oranges. So you can see um, we're all going to be here. Just some are going to be um, more. Let's see. Maybe I don't have the quite the right. It's working. So I need something kind of. Let's go with that. I'm pretty pale. So all you're going to do is click where you want it to go my ears, my face, my neck. Um, and it's very easy to go back and adjust it. So if it doesn't look quite right, um, you can try a different color in one of the sections and see how it holds up to the other. Um, Let's see, my hair, my hair is kind of rough because kind of, kind of blonde. I'm just going to go with the yellow in full cartoon mode here. I'm just going to go with <laughs> yellow for mine. And, um, and then give yourself a shirt color. Let's see, I think in my last one I did purple. Let me change it up. Maybe like. <laughs> I wear that color a lot. And then a background color for your shape. So I typically I like blues. Um, let's see how this one looks. I think that's the exact same one I used before. The green. Okay. So that and that that would be the most basic, simple one to do. Um, I have all the colors. It's just a flat color. Um, there is one thing if you remember from what I showed you at the beginning of making. Um, we can make like a, some simple shadows that go over your face, um, where your hair is, and over your neck that make it a like. Um, a little bit more sophisticated. I will show you that in um, the next video. So um, once you have uh, it colored in and all of your features and details in there, the next video will show you um, how to step it up a little bit.